lighting in my craft room though is amazing like this natural sunlight is hidden y'all so i just made it to tj maxx and I'm annoyed because I thought that I had my car mounting here. I remember in the previous vlog, I was telling you guys that I couldn't get it to figure, I couldn't figure it out as far as the angle of my window. And I couldn't even figure it out like a good position as far as like putting my phone on it. But then I had thought of another good re way that it might've would've worked out. And then I come in my car and it's nowhere to be found. And I'm like, I checked my apartment several times and it's not up there because i don't think i ever took it out of the car so i just find it weird that i could have sworn that it was in my car like a couple of days ago so i'm trying to figure out where did it go like it's just up and vanished there's nothing in my car my car is not messy i don't have a big car at all i have a two-door honda and like i barely have anything in my car so i'm just trying to figure out how did the camera mount for my car just is just not in here i checked under the seats i literally checked all the compartments in this car and it's nowhere to be found so i just find it to be really weird and i'm like did i end up getting rid of it i don't think i did but like i said i could have sworn a couple of days ago that car mount was literally suction to my window i never take it out of the car so i'm trying to figure out where did the car mount go but i'm finna go in tj maxx and um this tj maxx is connected to a home goods but i don't think there's anything in home goods that i need to get out of so i'm gonna check tj maxx and then after that i'm probably gonna go in burlington and then five below and i'm trying to see if there's anywhere else i do need to go on dollar tree and i do need to go on ollie's so here's tj maxx i parked pretty far i probably should have parked a little closer to tj maxx but it's probably not a bad idea because i'm probably going to exit out of the home goods section Looking for clothes for my youngest nephew. This. They got all of these squishmallows. This Harry Potter one is just really cute. And it's a good size actually fifteen dollars y'all know of course i had to come to the shoes you can know this oh yeah this is my size Talk. 
These aren't my size, of course, but they have several of these in different other sizes. I just left out of TJ Maxx. I couldn't get too much footage in there. But, I mean, they had a good amount of stuff in there. They did have a lot of, like, pajama sets. They had a lot of, like, coffee mugs, massagers. They did have a couple of projectors, like, mini projectors, like, to go like on the go type of projectors and i grabbed something for my niece and i grabbed an outfit for my nephew my youngest nephew he is one i think i'm finna go to burlington now and they did have like a car mount in here but i was like let me see if Five Below still have those car mounts if they don't then i come back to tj Maxx and get it but I don't know where this dang on car mount is at. Like, it's really bothering me that I don't know where it's at. Like, it's just up and disappeared. Like, did somebody come into my car and I did not know? Like, what is going on? I decided to stop at Five Below first. I'm not going to record at Five Below because I'm really just going in here to see if they have their car mount still. Okay, so let me show you guys what I got from Five Below. So I did end up getting the camera mount. I ended up getting the action camera mount. This is what it looks like. Y'all, it was only a dollar and fifty. They were on clearance for a dollar and fifty. I could have got two. But I live by five below, so I could go in there and get an extra one just in case I lose one. Cause the camera mount that I had I got from Amazon for like twenty something bucks. Like I need to know where that thing is at. And I also got this cute little vintage retro wireless speaker. I am gonna put this in my crafts room. I think it'll look so freaking cute. Then I picked up some Burt Bees oatmeal shampoo for uh, the dog that my parents just got. So yeah, cause my mom said that they use Burt's Bees. So hopefully this is fine. Okay, so I have the car mount up, and basically what I had to do is just kind of have my camera, like, screwed onto the mount, but have my camera, like, upside down. So we finally got something up, so I think I'm going to go get another one just in case i misplaced this one but i think it's gonna work out so i'm gonna go into burlington and see what they have and then yeah i'll be back so i think this is gonna work out hopefully this is just a test run so yeah we gonna see y'all this burlington used to be my favorite but it's just messy in here like it's super messy in here. I, yeah, I think I'm gonna go. Like, look at these little ponies. Like they are so freaking cute. These are too cute. They got the ponies on my sides. If I didn't get those Tony Hill figure shoes the other day, and a different Burlington, I would get these. But I'm not really about shoes. I want them, but they're cute. I didn't even decide to go into Dollar Tree because for one, it was super, super packed. The parking lot was packed. And the little spot that I did attempt to get in, or squeeze in, it was just way too tight. I don't even think I would've been able to open my door to get out of the car. And plus, I don't have time to be in anybody's way. I don't have time for nobody to be in my way. Dollar Tree already a small store. I'm actually about to go to the outlet mall and there's one particular store that I want to check out and see if I can find an item or something and then I'm gonna see what H&M is talking about see what they have in there and then my last stop is going to be Ollie's so hopefully I can find something in there so that I can just knock everything out of the way. I am about to put these lights on, it's 431. I planned on being back home a while ago. That's always the case and I never get home early enough to relax before I fix dinner. But I'm gonna put these Christmas lights on. 
these are the ones that i'm gonna put up i got these from dollar trees five dollar section these are the ones that i am gonna put up and these are the ones that i wanted to put on my balcony like the little fencing portion of the balcony but i still did not get an extension cord i did not see an extension cord so i'm not gonna put these up but i am gonna put these up so i have some adhesive hooks that i got from dollar tree as well these right here so i'm gonna put those up and hopefully everything works out i am gonna let you all see the process chicken parmesan casserole to finish it is in the oven i'm not really sure how many minutes i have left alexa how many minutes do i have left on the timer you have 11 minutes left on your 25 minute timer okay so i have 11 minutes left i don't even know if i ever showed y'all the decor that i end up doing in my apartment so i'm gonna show y'all that real quick and then i'm gonna show you guys the actually i'm gonna show y'all the christmas lights that i put up outside because i never showed y'all 
the actual finished product. Let me turn this light off here. So I'm about to turn them on, but I'm probably only going to have them on for like two hours. I'm not going to have them on that long. So here's how the lights came out. And like I said, I'm going to just have them on for like two hours. I'm not going to have them on too long because your girl do have a light bill to pay. But yeah, that is the lights. Just some simple. So yeah, I'm going to go back in and show you guys the decor inside. So I put some lights on my TV stand. So... That's what they look like. So you guys can see better, but I have my little Christmas trees here. And then I have my little elf here. And then I just added some garland to my island here. And then I did add some garland here. And then I added these Christmas trees here on my dining table. I did decorate my door. Also, this is what my door looks like. This is how I decorated my door. So, this is from Dollar Tree 5 Dollar Section. I think this one was too, but it was three dollars. So. Here is my Parmesan casserole. This is what it looks like. I will put the recipe that I use for this in the description box. I'm trying to get better with recording more of the process of me doing stuff, but it got really chaotic in this kitchen. I'm actually going to make some brownies. So I got this box mix of brownies that I'm going to make sometime tonight. So yeah. here are the brownies. I let them cool off for a good little minute. Whenever I do brownies, I like to pre-cut them. So I have about 16 squares. I ended up using olive oil instead of vegetable oil because for one, this is all of the vegetable oil that I have anyway. And I had a whole thing of olive oil so i'm gonna see what they taste like from the little crumbs that i've been eating it tastes good and it might actually taste better than using vegetable oil so it's probably been a week since the last clip in this vlog but i didn't really have anything going on in particular besides working I am super happy that I did actually go ahead and knock out all of my Christmas shopping. So I don't have any more Christmas shopping to do. Now, if I do decide to get any more Christmas gifts or anything like that, like, you know, I'll probably go as soon as the store is open, like super early in the morning, just so that I don't have to deal with all the people, all the crowd and everything like that. Because after work today, <clears throat> I had went to a couple of stores. I went to Dollar Tree to get like gift boxes and stuff for the, some of the gifts. I went to Trader Joe's to pick up a couple of items and then I went to Walmart and Trader Joe's is already a very small store. There's just there's just no way that you are going to be able to get out of that store in time because it's just too small. Walmart on the other hand just crowded i don't like going to walmart at all 
I already don't know the layout of this Walmart over here. And it's set up super weird. Then I got annoyed because for whatever reason, anytime that I go inside of Walmart and, you know, go to self-checkout, it's always the checkout that I go to where the card reader isn't working and the worker that's over there that's working in self-checkout for some reason does not tell me, hey, this register is not working properly or whatever so that I wouldn't waste my time scanning all of my items individually. Thankfully, I was able to just use my Walmart pay so that I wouldn't have to deal with anything. But every time I go in there, the same worker is working in self-checkout, does not say anything. The first two times that this happened to me, I had to move to another register and rescan all of my items individually. And the worker has not said anything. So it just annoys me every time. I am doing my face mask. It's Wednesday. It's not Sunday. Today is actually Wednesday. I never did get around to doing my face mask on Sunday because I was just super tired from work. And I didn't feel like, you know, actually waiting for my face mask to dry to wash it off. So I decided to do a midweek mask instead. So it's almost done drying. My face is feeling really, really good right now. I also did wash my braids as well. So my scalp is feeling good. I also oiled it as well. So my scalp is feeling really, really fresh. And I've had these braids for about, yeah, I had these braids for a month now. So I usually keep my braids in for about two months. I do have my Christmas lights going outside. I have my Christmas lights on my TV stand. Of course, I'm not going to keep the lights on too long. I am going to turn them off before I go to bed. So after I wash this off, I am probably going to go lay down in bed and just, you know, scroll until I fall asleep. And then my nose ring for whatever, or my nose piercing for whatever reason has been like sore. I've had this piercing for like seven years. And within the past year, my nose been having this issue where it'll get sore out of nowhere and swollen. I don't really know what that's about. And I started to just take it out, but I was like, I don't know if my nose piercing would close up or anything. So I'm just like, I'll just make sure I'm very careful and just leave it alone and let it do its thing. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I'm about to close this vlog out. I'm actually about to edit this vlog and upload it onto YouTube. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know any suggestions if y'all, you know, like the vlogs or anything. You know, give me some tips, suggestions, or anything like that. Um, but yeah, vlogging is, you know, something new for me and my channel. Like, I am definitely getting more into vlogging and stuff. So, just let me know. Um, Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.